Alright guys, so today I've got two very interesting pieces of information to share with my fellow global players out there. The first thing has to do with the next Dokkan Festival banner on global, and it was always going to be between either the STR Videl or the Fizz Super Saiyan Kid Trunks and Super Saiyan Kid Goten, right? And according to this tweet from I seriously a couple hours ago, it looks like it's officially going to be the Super Saiyan Kids. Now obviously this is not like an official, official reveal, but given I seriously track record, this is basically a confirmation. So uh, yeah, at the end of May slash beginning of June, we should see the banner for these kids. And then after that, um, I mean, I don't think there's going to be enough time actually for another banner in between, or maybe just like a random filler of some kind, but guys, we are getting very close to the anniversary. So this might be the last Dokkan Festival banner we see on Global before the sixth anniversary officially gets underway. Obviously, we'll have the countdown leading up to the anniversary at the end of June, and then the first week of July, the anniversary officially begins, and UI Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, it's, uh, it's gonna be insane. So get ready for that. But uh, yeah, guys, LR Super, or sorry, not LR, just the Fizz, Super Saiyan Kid Gohan, sorry, Goten. It's, yo, I'm getting too excited. I'm getting too excited for the anniversary, man. I can't even talk anymore. But uh, yeah, Super Saiyan Kid Goten, Super Saiyan Kid Trunks on the way, end of this month, beginning of June. And the other thing that uh, we learned is we are, in fact, going to be getting the new Petan Battle Mode on Global when update 4.16.0 drops uh, later this week on May 24th slash 25th, depending on your time zone as always. And uh, that's pretty exciting too, because I've been wanting to try out this mode for quite some time. It looks like a lot of fun. I really want to collect all those stickers. So uh, yeah, I'm stoked for that too. And of course the uh, same name on the same team update and also the gotcha coin exchange in the Baba Shop will also become available at that time. Now, one mistake I did make in a previous video when talking about the update is um, to do with the LR Super 17 banner. I said in a stream or whatever that if you guys plan to summon on the Super 17 banner, you should wait until update 4.16.0 comes out so that you know you can exchange the SSRs you pulled on that banner for you know, coins in the Baba Shop, right? But as it turns out, that's not exactly how it works. I've been told recently that only units pulled from banners that come out after the update will allow you to exchange the SSRs for coins, right? So it doesn't really matter when you summon on the Super 17 banner. It doesn't really matter when you pull those SSRs. Any SSRs you pull on the Super 17 banner will not be allowed to be exchanged in the Baba Shop even after the update. So I guess the first banner where we'll be able to exchange SSRs for coins is gonna be the upcoming, um, you know, Super Saiyan Kid Trunks and Super Saiyan Kid Goten banner. Okay, so I just wanted to clarify that. I wanted to make sure everybody was on the same page and uh, that's my bad because I literally had no idea. But uh, with that said, one last thing we gotta do before we get out of here is check out the details for the upcoming Dokkan Fest is Super Saiyan Kid Trunks and Super Saiyan Kid Goten. Now, I know people are a little bit mixed on their feelings for this unit. Like some people are super excited. Some people are kind of meh, you know, not really that hype. And um, one thing I will say is this unit is definitely very good. You know, like they can hit really, really hard. They can get a ton of defense. They are, you know, kind of RNG driven. They kind of remind me a little bit of the Int Super Saiyan Gotenks in a sense. And obviously you can view these guys as a trap for the sixth anniversary. But as far as trap units go, like I said, they are a very good one. Okay, so getting into their details, leader skill is Prodigious Warriors, which is a brand new category, or Kamehameha, K plus three, HP and attack plus 100, and 70% or defense plus 130% super attack raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage and they also have a unit or partner super attack which greatly raises attack for one turn causes immense damage 
and raise his ally's attack by 30% for one turn. And in order to get this unit super attack, you have to have a ally whose name includes Kid Trunks or Kid Goten attacking in the same turn, or a unit that is named Krillin on the team. And the passive is attack and defense plus 150% when performing a super attack. Great chance of attack and defense plus 50%. Great chance of an additional attack and defense plus 50%. And then key plus 1 up to 3, attack and defense plus 10% up to 50%, and chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 7% up to 30% with each attack evaded. Okay, so obviously this part right here with like the you know additional chances of uh, extra attack and defense is very similar to the int Super Saiyan Go tanks, but they also have this extra part where they get another pretty significant buff with uh, attacks evaded. And they also have an active skill, which gives them key plus six and evades enemies' attacks, including super attacks, for one turn. And it can be activated when there's an ally whose name includes Brunk's Kid or Goten Kid attacking in the same turn, starting from the third turn from start of battle, which overall is not too bad. And of course, you wanna activate this active skill when there are a lot of attacks that they can potentially evade, right, to get this full passive right here. Now, with the calculation of the passive, since the additional attack and defense plus 50% is calculated separately, they have the potential to get a maximum boost of 400% attack and defense when performing a super attack, and then 500% attack and defense after evading 5 attacks. So that's why this unit has like I said, the potential to be really, really insane. And on average, they're still going to be very good. Even if you're only getting, you know, one of these 50% attack and defenses, like they're still going to be getting a very significant buff. And great chance is 70%, right? So more often than not, you're going to get at least one of these. And every other turn, you'll probably get both the buffs. And then if you evade a couple of attacks with the active skill, then... They're going to be hitting extremely hard. They're going to be getting a lot of defense. And um, yeah, it's just a really good unit. I'm definitely looking forward to them. I'm definitely going to be doing some summons, which uh, really isn't saying much considering the fact that I do summon for basically everything. But I think these guys are definitely worth a couple of stones, definitely worth a couple of multis. So look forward to the summoning video and the stream when they drop. Uh, once again at the end of this month slash beginning of june and um oh uh their links i forgot about that the innocence super saiyan kamehameha prodigies budding warrior prepare for battle and fierce battle and categories are hybrid saiyans joint forces movie heroes youth super saiyans kamehameha and prodigious warriors now taking a quick look at the prodigious warriors category consists of warriors who can be considered prodigies a little ambiguous but Okay, so for the main leader, we have the Kid Goten and Trunks. We also have this new tech, Super Saiyan Goten. And from there, I'll just let you guys take a quick look. Overall, I'll say it's um, a pretty decent category, you know, especially compared to some of the more recent categories we've seen in the game, namely something like Special Pose, right? Like, compared to that, this is actually very very solid you do have quite a few choices here a lot of vegetas um as well as you know go tanks is uh, a couple of frieza's a couple of piccolos some califlas of course and yeah i mean overall it's just a solid category you got a lot of good choices for team building purposes and Obviously, they're also a Kamehameha lead, right? So you can always run a prodigious warrior slash Kamehameha team if you want to. And uh, yeah, guys, that is everything there's to say in today's video. We got the Fizz Super Saiyan Kids coming soon to global as the next Okan Fest. Eton Battle is also around the corner. Very, very excited for that. And uh, once again, a big shout out to I Seriously for providing us with this you know, with this leak, this notice, or whatever. I mean, at this point, his word is basically as good as the in-game notices. So, uh, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments down below if you're stoked for these kids, or are you still going to be saving 
for the anniversary, I think most people are still gonna, or at least I think the best thing to do would be to save most of your stones for the anniversary, but if you wanted to drop a few multis on this banner, I can't really blame you because they are a phenomenal unit, but that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.